Hello, this is James Jackson of James Jackson Productions here with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is how to export your machine project into Pro Tools. They're using the 16 virtual outputs on machine, assigning those to Pro Tools channels and recording all of your MIDI into audio in one file swoop. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, open up Pro Tools, of course, and immediately create an instrument track, which you can see I've already done. And on your inserts, you're gonna open up a instance of machine, which I've got here. Now, when you open up machine, um, let me first off say, when you open up Pro Tools, and it's gonna automatically go to 120 beats per minute. Now, say your machine track did not, oh, did not get created at 120 beats per minute. Say you created it at 86 beats per minute, like I've done so. Um, when you open, when you uh, get machine open, you're gonna open up your project. You're gonna file open, and you find your project, uh, and then you it'll open up just like you would in standalone mode. Um, however, what I've done is I've actually placed the BPM in parentheses next to my tracks, just so I give myself a reminder that after I open up my machine track and I open up Pro Tools to go into Pro Tools and make the track 86 beats per minute because machine will slave to the Pro Tools tempo. So you see I've got my track already open 86 beats per minute. So now that you've got done that and don't forget to come over here tempo change your tempo to whatever your tempo is minus 86. Um, we're gonna actually assign each sound in machine uh, one of the 16 virtual outputs in machine uh, that machine has. So starting with I'm on group A and this is Omnisphere patch. So I'm just going to go to my outputs and you can see I've got this one already assigned to output one. And then number two, I've got assigned to output two. I've got the Nexus assigned to three. This crash assigned to four and the keys assigned to five. And then I've gone on to group B and starting with the kick, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. I've done that for every sound that I've got here, all on its own individual output uh, in machine. So I'm us utilizing 15 of the 16 virtual outputs that machine has to offer. So once you've done that, you're gonna come back into Pro Tools and you're gonna create 16 stereo tracks. The reason you create stereo tracks is it makes it easier to cascade your um, your machine tracks, and then you can go in and split them to mono if you'd like, or you can keep them in stereo. It's t entirely up to you. Um, I prefer working with stereo tracks just when I'm doing the bounce, and after I'm done with the bounce, I go split uh, you know the appropriate things to mono, like you know some of the, like the drums and some like sine wave stuff, uh, stuff and bass loops and stuff like that. So. Now that I've created my 16 audio tracks, uh, you wanna go to your instrument track and for all you Pro Tools users, you know that instrument tracks do not output uh, audio, they output MIDI. So as you can see on this instrument track, you can see there's like a kind of what's looked like a keyboard there and that's for you to input MIDI data. Um, what we're gonna do is for the, the main output of machine, which is output one, it's still technically coming out of there. So we're gonna bust that track. So we're gonna go to bus, and I'm gonna use stereo bus one and two. And I'm gonna go to the track right next to it and make and use that in, make that input a stereo bus one and two. So now you're not gonna hear anything, but when I record enable, now you can hear the choir that I used. Now for the rest of your sounds, you're not gonna hear the rest of your sounds. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to sign these remaining tracks, the inputs from the 16 virtual outputs of machine. And the way you do that, now you can do that in one file swoop. You can go in and manually do it. You can go in and go to tra the next one, go to plug in this one and make it machine out two. Then go to the next one, machine out three, so on and so forth. Uh, what I like to do to make things easier is do a shortcut from Pro Tools called cascading. Um, and what that does is just, if you start at two, it'll make this one two, the next one three, the next one four, and so on and so forth. It's almost like a domino effect. Uh, and the way you do that is on Windows, you hold down Alt-Control-Shift 
or on Mac, it would be Control Alt, or it'd be Control Command Control Shift. There it is. So, and then you're gonna go to your input, go down to Plugin, Machine, Instrument, in, Instrument One, Insert A. Start with two, and then you can see it's gone two to three to four to five to six to seven, all the way out. So now I've got everything routed. Uh, I've got track one routed to here, track two routed to here, so on and so forth. So what you got to do is you got to record enable all your tracks. So that way you can hear everything. Now we'll come back over here and hit numeric three to record. So as you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, I've got all of my tracks from Machine routed from Machine MIDI to Pro Tools Audio, and they're all right here. And just to prove it, I will delete, I'll, well, I'll hide and make this instrument track inactive that has the machine on it and that has all of the sounds on it. And I will play just these audio files right here, so I'll rewind. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All of my tracks from Machine right it to audio in the Pro Tools in one file swoop. So with that being said, that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to this Machine Masters tutorial. Um, make sure you check out the website, www.machinemasters.com.